Hello, everyone, and welcome to the very special first episode of season two of Cracktorio. Crack harder, or more cracking, or son of the crack, possibly. <laughs> or all the ones we tried earlier. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, I am joined by Captain Meat Shield, Peter Taylor, and Rack Fallen. I will let them do their own little intros, because they, uh, aside from Peter, the other two are new to the Cracktorio world. Who's going first? You oh, go ahead. I'm good with that intro. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, okay. Hey, old brothers and sisters. My name is Captain Meat Shield. Uh, this is my first time doing a Factorio multiplayer game, so I'm looking forward to this. Should be quite fun. Very good. Uh, uh, I'm Rock Fallen. I haven't done a series before, so this is going to be fun. Excellent. And you all know me from last time, hopefully. I am Peter. I am the one that makes all the mess and confuses people. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. We may have other people jumping in and out as the series progresses, but this is who we got for the intro. So. <laughs> Gonna make do with uh, us. Yes, and we were able to stay organized for a whole, like, ten seconds. And we didn't even box anybody in the first Amazing. episode. All right, fucking trees, get out. Yes, tree. Oh, axe. right, I forgot to make a pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> have you played this game before, Gapwin? <laughs> <laughs> so this is fun, because... Only yesterday I finished recording the two-hour intro time-lapse that I'm doing for my new series to skip past all of the boring stuff. I mean, like, you know, oh, so this, is the, this is the second time in two days I am doing the first 30 minutes of the game. Oh. <laughs> That's painful. Yes. At least this time you've got help. Yes, that makes the tree clearing a lot better and easier. It's like you I'm going to sit up. Okay, just quickly so we have it, I'm going to start setting up a little iron smelter over here. Okay, I'll set up a coal system, which will get a bit of coal flowing. Uh, whack one down on the coal. Thank you. I will... Uh, where's my first gone? There it is. Yeah. If we get the two down on the coal, we can ah, do that intro we'll coal trick. you there. And get my wood out, because that's always useful. Never mind. The dodgy one running. Is it feeding into each other? They are. Good. Yeah, get your wood out. <laughs> Yeah, YouTube friendly uh, rules, you might know. Get, might get <laughs> limited or no adverts for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I get no adverts for no reason, so I don't know. I've, no. I've been lucky enough not to be affected by that yet. At all. Yeah. I do my best not to curse on cam, and I still get, get frickin', uh, oh, you may not be suitable for all advertisers for reasons. Oh, I swear like a sailor and I play horror games, so it's been getting me something fierce. <laughs> <laughs> right, I am in need of... Stone. Where's the stone hiding? Over there. Dun, 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 dun. Wood, 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 wood. I'm thinking we have. It looks like we have a bit more room if we expand eastward. Double look at the map. Again. And that's where the major resource patches are. Yeah, there's like a million iron over there, so. And we've got another. Uh, ha almost a million right here should... locally. Yes. Oh shit, sure. have we, we got. Um... Hmm? Have we got rich recipes on or something? Burner mining drills are really quite expensive. Do we? We shouldn't. Yeah, they are. Yeah, oh. six time gear wheels, two stone Ooh, furnaces. Sick. No. I was wondering why I couldn't buy one or build one or buy one. <laughs> <laughs> What's the currency in this game? Fish. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> That's right, actually. <laughs> since, since they took out alien artifacts. <laughs> uh, so I am needing. Oh. Hey, I could afford one. Fantastic. Well, I don't know. Fish hey. recipes may be on. That was not the plan. But... Well, it could know. be an interesting play. I've, I've never played with that before. Yeah. So. Pipes are the same. Electric poles look the same. Research looks the same, huh. but generally speaking, but yeah, research is the same. So but I guess yeah, burner miners are just more expensive than we remember. Did they hmm. change it in the, the last update or something? They might have. I don't always keep up to date with that as well as I should. Exactly. I don't. Steam engines need a lot more. Fifty iron plate. Ooh. Ooh. Or is that normal? I don't. No, that's not. Normal. <laughs> no, that's not normal. <laughs> you know, I think I think we've got some degree of slightly heightened. Yeah, good. Whatever. Uh, oh well, just messes <clears throat> up ratios. Ah, we're yeah. fine. There's enough of us to keep it going. <laughs> Compensate for it. All right. We need to make sure that we plan out a little bit of where our buses and smelters are going to go, because I always build too crunched up. Eh, same here. So if we, where you are now, below the iron patches, would be a good idea to have a bus going east-west. Yeah. It's away from everything else, and it uh, should keep us fairly 
safe. Yeah, we could start. We could start a main bus beneath the uh, one million iron, and just set it, send it east or something. Yeah, and have smelters in before that to load the thing. Yeah. Yeah, or well, we could start the smelting around that point, and then. Obviously, if we start the smelting before the way before where you are now, so we can then we bring this seven uh, k one in quite easily. Two, three. Right, we need four, a lot of these guys. And then, and then one, two, three, four. Okay, should be enough. Let me get some stone. And hopefully, I can finally make another one. If I remember right, this is usually your main bus. Your four, four with a six path in the middle, for minimum of two in the middle. But minimum more. Yeah, I was gonna say we could do like a two gap between each, like four belts, then a two gap, four belts. It's normally how I set mine up, but uh, well, you need a kind of like we could do it. We could do a two gap above. You need like <clears> a. Like um, we need at least two for the you need a gap of for. You need a gap that accommodates walking path and and uh, underneath these. Yeah, uh, so you need at least two for the underneath the... and at least two for the path. So you want at least four minimum. And if you want to stylize the edge of it, you want number two. So So that gives us four, six, four. Yep, yeah, very right. That would give you two walking oh, no. paths, oh. two de decorative edges and on the grounds. So and yes, then pass, and right. then if we add extra belts, we can do the two and then f and then the four. For extra paths, for extra things, we just need the walking path in the middle. Put that there. So okay. something along them lines. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Right. Uh, right. right. See... Now we need to uh, actually get on? around to making science. <laughs> <laughs> what the downside is the bus is currently plied go right through this same patch. <laughs> it's a little high up. Yeah. Well, we lost. But if um, you ever smelt in the middle, we lost the people who are good at the game. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! <Ooh. laughs> right. oh, I'm happy I'm here. <laughs> I wanted to be offended, but I also agree. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm only useful once we need really, really overly complicated circuitry. I like trains. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much exactly why I'm here. <laughs> Okay, so so we need enough iron for a boiler and a steam engine and a lab. I wish there was a way to pick up an item for blueprinting without actually having to have one in your inventory. I want to start blueprinting stuff down so we can start the the process, but I can't do it without at least a mine in my hand. Yeah, a furnace in my hand. That's coming at uh, in sixteen. Oh, I need one more stone. I can do it. <laughs> In 16. What's that, another year and a half away? <laughs> Probably. <clears throat> okay, so, where do we start this uh, smelter? Above or below the, belt, the bus? Hmm. We've got more room below, and probably to the also less west feet of below the bus. As well. Yeah. Well, if you go below them, they can feed up into the bus itself, and then from there, the, uh, the other iron can deal with it, or... So yeah. Well, the only problem is that both iron patches are to the north of the bus, so it makes more sense to have the smelt on the north for the iron. Yeah. yeah. I'll do that. I'll start, I'll start with the basics at the top. I just need to make sure I've got at least some of the things in here I need to start the planning. And then you can tell me how bad my so planning I guess is. We should start, <laughs> I guess we should start the power at this teeny... Hmm. Let's see. If we're going to have it over there... Yeah, I guess starting the power at this itty bitty water makes the most sense. Yeah, we can be across quite easily from there. Okay, let's see if we can remember how to do these. It's been a while. Put you there. And I need some pipes. And what do I... Okay, good. I only need 30 more iron and I can build ourselves a power thingy. <laughs> I'll stop thieving it to try and get more coal then. <laughs> that was a problem. Coal also good. We're gonna need a lot of coal for the power as well. No, I'm just trying to get uh, the like kind of two by two um, circle thing going on so that we can actually just have a supply. Yeah, supply would be quite nice. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Feel free to do some chests 
chests and burner inserters too if you want so we can get some extra storage. Now, where, where is... Well, I can start getting power going, but we don't have anything to power until we get the lab out. Yeah. So. <laughs> and obviously the smelter's fine, but it'll really want to have proper inserters at some point. Yes. And they kind of require power. Oh, copper's my problem now. Copper's still my problem. Come on, copper. I've got your power poles when you're ready. All right. Excellent. Lab. I guess I'll focus on the lab and... I'm just pulling out the uh, smelt anybody, before we have it, so... If anybody gets a chance to smelt, like, like 20 or 30 science... <laughs> What's actually required on the emergency side of things, anyway? Oh, it's not too bad. It's the same as it was before. Yeah. One copper plate, one gear okay. wheel. I wish I could speak with authority on whether this, the uh, prices for things have changed, but I don't remember uh, what they are. Iron gear wheels have doubled. They're four iron plate for one gear wheel now. Oh. Okay, so some things have Electronic changed. Electronic circuits. Happened. Electronic circuits need ten copper cable and two iron plates. Mm hmm. Okay, so I last played this on normal. Odd. They, they weren't the ratios, but that was like the experimental. So did they change it in the experimental? Maybe? This is odd. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, I'm well. confused and kind of we've, scared. Yeah, <laughs> we've got it now. We could probably change it if we need to because we have admin, so. Yeah. But we'll see. Might be some problem with me. Like, I think I accidentally started the map on... Uh, started the map on a different setting. Or I was in experimental and we started it on stable. Mm -hmm. yeah, so maybe, maybe that, maybe that something. something up in the process. I've got your 10 red science. Excellent. Come on, labs. What do you need? Yeah. One more. Aha, lab. How, I, how I long do you make your spells as usual? To science. Okay, how long do you make your smelters usually? Uh, um, I normally do uh, two, like twenty-four long. Moment. Well, um, twelve long. We're on either side. Twelve, so, okay. I'm at ten. That's me. So. Right. I usually go as far as I need to, and I get bored, and then stop. <laughs> Which is not the way to do it properly. Ow! Right into a smelter trying to place down some convey belt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't a convey belt there when I started, I'm telling you. <laughs> Alright, lab. We have a lab Bus. and we have a power generator thing. I'm filling with wood. Alright, so let's go down to the bus. Just need two for now, we can add more as we get them. Now we just need to start getting actual things in here. Ah, <clears throat> we can research automation. Yay! Hooray! All, right. All the things start to one. Yes. It's actually you know, the point of the game and such. <laughs> Speaking of automation, how are you liking the uh, Autobot thingy that you were playing? That is quite fun. I hope they expand what you can do. But I'm hoping to be able to conquer some islands. They just introduced sheep, and apparently now you can dress your robots up in hats. Sheep are already there. Because <laughs> every game needs hats. Yes. Yeah, I, 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 I was playing it, and I... Did build, get, did get the sheet, and uh, I did get the hats, and the, not the hats, so they put jumpers on them. And the bots kept putting jumpers on the ones that already had jumpers and just throwing them on the floor. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't like a jumper. <laughs> it's too warm in here. <laughs> I need copper. No, we should have copper. Yeah, I'm just, I've, I've been walking past it without actually picking it up. Yeah, I can't make power poles without any, and I've just been walking past it continuously. Oh, and apparently I've used all my wood up and into smelters. Oh, so this one's for iron, yeah? Yeah, it's the first that's the thing we need the most, so I guess iron wood up really yes. first. Plus it makes sense for the iron one to be in the north because the iron supplies are in the north anyway. Right, that should be I have a balls. feeling I set up the map wrong, so we might have to go in and try to futz with that later. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get this bus lined up so I can actually... Tell where we're going to be. 
That's the first line of the verse, so you two are in the wrong place. All right, we got that done. I guess we should do logistics. Yeah. Logistics and get all of our good... There we go. Get all of our good inserters. And splitters and underground belts and all that sort of stuff. Yes. Are we going eastward with the... Uh... With the uh, bus, or are we going west with the bus? Uh, I think mm -hmm. east. Yeah, go east with the bus. Okay. So when we said it would be east six Eastward gap. expansion. And we said a six gap, so one, two, three. At least I tried the better one. Nah, not a rail one, or a ghost one. That's just confusing Let's myself 15 now. copper. So if I can get... I have the supplies for a Stop. single electric mining drill. <laughs> now I just need a power supply, yes. cables, and coal for the smelting. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> God knows how much other stuff. <laughs> have, by the way, have you seen the trailers? Have you seen how far with the coal supply is to the smelter? <laughs> Maybe in a bit of underestimation, where to put the smelter. <laughs> Ooh, mining drills take 20 plates now. Oof. Well, this is only going to be a problem for the first part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> and then we change it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then we oh. don't cheat. That's not what we're doing. It's yep, not cheating, yes. it's configurations. Ah, clever. I like it. <laughs> it's I had to start up the server, and I'm probably one of the worst people at planning these things. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right, so we have the ghost array. That's it. Put that away. Uh, and we're doing the expensive stuff at the time when expensive stuff is the biggest problem anyway, so they can't really accuse us of cheating. <laughs> now if I set you up to make gear wheels, and then I can set this up to make right. belts for us. Yeah, because belts are going to be very, very useful, because we're going to need a lot of them. Alright, so... <clears throat> if we send a coal supply... Would be the best way, best way to send a coal supply to this smelter array. Mm. There we are. We have automated belts. Nice. Kind of a. Yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to a good way to get coal into this into the system, but it doesn't play nicely with coal coming out of it. Where are burning miners? I need more, much more iron, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Too much just more thinking, iron. <laughs> just thinking with the um, all of this, um, well, the smelting and the uh, the direction of the bus, would it make sense more for the um, like ores to come in from the west? It can do. I mean, so then they can just the... go out the east and. Yeah, we've got the biggest um, iron ore on the uh, on the east right now, but the coal supply is also on the west. So, yeah, why are we taking um, the? Yeah, we're just a bit around. Taking the main bus to the well, yes, west now. What's... Now I've been I've been organizing it. It's not moved yet. So ignore ignore the directions right now. Okay. <laughs> I may I may or may not have got the east and west mixed up. Ignore that entirely. <laughs> <laughs> no other left. <laughs> There is no other left. And there we are. People are going to know we don't go outside. Go outside? <laughs> Ugh. Not the outside. All right, I'm going to flip this around. I think you're right. We it's all have idea, guns, but... so whenever the biters actually show up, we're good. <laughs> but we have pistols, you know. <laughs> I'm crafting those last 12 uh, furnaces for the smeltery. Turn this Excellent. around. I don't know why I need to turn this around because it's a ghost and I can't even figure out which way it's supposed to face. Ah, working in the dark. Yeah, we well, maybe should uh, research lamps very soon considering we're recording this. Ah, oh, there. What we got Remember for these. science? Okay, we're doing good on science. Ah. Yep. Alright, at some point I'm going to stop walking into these things. 
I keep walking into the uh, furnaces that are being placed down. Let me stop doing that at some point. Well, eventually the furnaces will move. <laughs> Wouldn't we get smells? Like yes, it's not eventually your problem. Eventually we'll have robots and we can make the robots move the furnaces. Yes. They're nothing to walk into the robots, somehow, magically. It's <laughs> it's just easier. Instead of walking around things, you should just have the robots take it away and put it back every time you go by. I would have that mod immediately. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be very interesting if some kind of modded uh, blueprint field around your body. I want. Okay, so what we're basically saying is we want the uh, smelter to be on legs so they can walk away. Yes. <laughs> I know there's a mod called uh, Squeak Through that'll let you squeeze between things where you shouldn't be able to do, like, pipes. Ah. Yeah, but you can't walk through the items. Uh, yeah. through there, though. It doesn't make any sense. Because anytime there's even a slight, a slight challenge to optimizing things the way you want, people mod it out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then the bus goes here. So, um... Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only up. one that uses that setup. What setup? Oh, the uh, splitter that Captain Mitchell just put in there. Uh, I think everybody's I think everyone does using that now. That now. Yeah, I, really I copy half of my stuff from everybody else, so I, like, nothing <laughs> for me is original. <laughs> that is the factorial way. Yes. <laughs> Iteration. Iteration forever. Automation and plagiarism. <laughs> Stop it. And then those two can go there for the future. Alright. So, yeah, there's only two ways I've ever seen this done. One is the way it's doing now, and the other way is to have the entry parts further away and have the coal come down in a straight line on one side. But uh, I kind of yeah. like, like the twisting around at the end of the, of the conveyor. Yeah, I always thought that was cooler looking. Hmm. Calling you. I've been doing this thing for so much, so often now that I've forgotten how I used to do all of my uh, it's just... setups for smelting and stuff. I didn't do my how smelt ups for setting very well. <laughs> right, I went back and watched one of my original Factorio things from a couple of years ago, and I'm amazed that anything ever actually got built. <laughs> <laughs> right, have we been the coal supply above the? Uh... The uranium, so we'd have to move it in the future. He says about checking to where the coal supply is. Lights, optics. Mm -hmm. Do we want? Do we want to prioritize steel or filter inserters? At this stage, it doesn't really matter. I guess we should do gun turrets actually, so we can yes. set stuff up to not be eaten. I thought that is one that. thing to remember, since we're going to be jumping on and off randomly after this point. Like blueprint out anything you really want to build so we can see where it is and also uh, lay down gun turrets everywhere because there's no guarantee we're going to be in your part of the base. Has the person who has run across the entire map to rescue a mining outpost, yes, turrets everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> also, it might be a good idea to get uh, military at some point we have machine guns to help out. Yes. I'm just going to run two ghost lines for um, coal so we know where it's going to be. Cause that's... Ah, no, I need those. They're my ghost prints. Damn you. At least the uh, at least the biter expansion should help. Yeah, I mean once you take a base, I don't come back with us. Right? Yes. Yeah, good. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so sick of having to clear out biter areas every ten minutes. Oh, tell me about <laughs> it. Like, I'm I'm glad with like my main series that I've just surrounded everything in walls. It's and laser turrets has just made things so much easier. <laughs> yeah, it took me to press. I I finished my wall, the episode before the finale yeah, of I like the last wall. series. That's a good wall actually, with the uh, little pillbox dots around it, stopping getting through. Yeah, that's fun. I don't think it actually does anything, but it's fun to look at. It might work against um, biters in general, but the spitters obviously they can outrange it. Yeah. Still looks cool though. I want to do the automated mine wall this time. Yeah, that was it could be fun that. Especially if you just surround a base in them just for fun of it. Military. Yeah. And you can hook up the mines to the RoboPort on switch for the laser turrets. <laughs> I 
Also, I've never really made mines seriously, so. I can't say I've used them by anything other than experimentals. <laughs> Just playing around, that's it. Right, we have. Is that the uh, <clears throat> landmines? Yes. yes. Oh, right, yeah. I've, I've never made a single one of those. Yeah. I made one because I hadn't made one. <laughs> That's a good enough reason as any. It's the best reason. I haven't done it yet, so I'm going to do it all the way. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright, let's get these inserted rounds in place so we can at least start. Once we get coal over here, we'll be good. Yeah, I'm trying to belt it over now. It is taking a lot of time. Yeah. yeah. I've only got a couple of builds and pocket builds. Oh, we need to get them off. It's because of, uh, of the new gear wheel recipe. The like, belts are taking ages to craft. Yeah. Yes. I do not know how we haphazardly wound up with more expensive gear wheels. <laughs> it's, uh, it's I don't know. That. Is that... Is the thing is, it's the yeah. fact that not everything else is expensive as well. That's the confusing part behind it. Gear wheels and circuits seem to be more or less the only thing. <laughs> I think so if they make like, our base uh, items more expensive, it makes everything more expensive. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like the fact that the, the steam engines flat out want 50 iron plates as is, and then you've got the 10 gear wheels and... What, what are pipes? Pipes are two iron plates. I think that was... Right. That sounds about the same. same. Yeah. It sounds about here. the same, yeah. Good idea. Doot. 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 <laughs> Come on. Come on, can and you insert us? Yes! Let there be light! And they're light, and they're Woo! loading. Excellent. Now we just need coal over here, and then we can actually start the, uh, smelt the uh, actual smelting. That was a better drag some power over to the coal mining. Temporarily just drop a... I will eventually put these the right way around the first time. Aha! Now you can see what you're doing. Excellent. The smelter is nice and lit. Um... Coal mining is automated. Uh, Might everything get needs the, um... to be lit. Everything needs to have cool colors and ah. blinky lights. Blinky lights for everything. <laughs> yes. Well, I know Rack had a uh, had some like blinky light train things on a map he sent me ages ago. I did. I think so. He had some kind of like green lights somewhere. Yeah. Ah, too far away. Uh, I took your bar wrap and made it color coordinated. Yeah. That was that too. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I'm okay. pretty sure someone stole that and used it in a video ages ages after that. Never credited either of us. <laughs> <laughs> as long as people are using it, I don't care. <laughs> Almost got the convey belt done. Ah, oh, it's the wrong way. Almost. We almost have coal. Almost have coal as to smelt it. As soon as we have coal, we have automation. <laughs> also, we kind of need to split the coal and send some of it up to the, uh, Power to the uh, steam engine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just shoved a box with some coal up there for the time being, so... That works. When in doubt, shove a chest somewhere. Keep going back to two shot now. There we go. Final ones. Coal is on its way. Aha! Oh, look, you compressed it. <laughs> it's by design. <laughs> it's, it's design, not incompetency. <laughs> yoink, yoink. Okay. I need you for blueprints just for fun of them. And then. Excellent. Iron shall be, shall be going. And then we'll be able to actually make mines and things. Oh, that'll make everything easier. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Plates are automated. They are now flowing out. Fantastic. Ah, wonderful. This is where everyone starts running up and down the uh, bus and nicking the iron now. <laughs> yeah. Well, what else are we doing with it? No, it's just like, you can always guarantee somebody wants more, it's like, there's never none of the bus, why is it not? And there's somebody just there, just standing there with F and looking, like, yeah. <laughs> it's usually me, by the way. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to go and steal all of the iron and go and make my own base with blackjack and hookers. 